What's up? Welcome back to Exploring Outdoors. I'm Tim, and today we're going to talk about the water heater on my little travel trailer. So recently I just did a trip and I went to Gallison State Park while I was working. And while I was there, you know, the temperature dropped down and I have a, here I'll open it up and show you. I have a, a Camco water heater hybrid kit that makes my water heater electric and gas because originally this was just in the gas water heater. So mine's electric and gas. Now, when a temperature is really, really cold, it takes a while for the electric to heat it up. And so if you want to have like showers and use a lot of water, I like the gas and the electric at the same time. So I have a constant way of heating the water up faster. So one thing I noticed, and I'm going to do it here in a minute, and I'll show you, is when I lit my gas water heater, uh, the flame was really orange and sooty and it was blowing soot out and it was just bad, you know, so I, I shut it down so I could deal with it when I got home. And what it is, is something is inside this pipe right here, probably a spider web or a bug or something, got in this little tube right here, and it's blocking the flow of the gas and the oxygen going through it. So we just got to blow that tube out and clean it out. And I'll light it real quick and show you what it looks like, and then we'll let it cool down, get the tools out while it's cooling, and get ready to clean it out, and I'll show you all that. So here's a quick close-up of what I'm talking about. So this right here is where your oxygen gets sucked in. The gas is coming through this little brass piece and the oxygen gets sucked in these little louvers right here and it shoots around this way and it blows out that way like a blowtorch. And usually the flame in here, you want it to have kind of a roaring sound and it wants to be mostly blue with a little bit of yellow at the end. Mine was all yellow, no roar sound, really lazy flame and a lot of soot coming out. So I shut it down immediately decided, well, I'll just wait till I get home and I'll do the work on it when I have an air compressor to blow this thing out. So what we're gonna do is take this loose right here, this little bolt right here, and we'll probably take one loose down here in the bottom so we can kind of pivot this thing and blow some air through it and clean it out. That's probably what's wrong with it. Okay, so in order to light this, I like to use a little windproof lighter. It's got the little blowtorch on it because if you're like in a place like Galveston and it's windy, it's hard to get that pilot lit in there. So the other thing you want to do is you want to take your little knob up here and you want to turn it to where the little piece right here and this little tab right here are lined up. This is the pilot. And you push down this little button. Yep, once you got it lined up, you'll be able to push down the little button. And put a little flame in here until you get it to light. There it goes, the pilot's lit. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let's see if I can put it around here. There you go, you can see a little pilot flame down there. All right, and when I turn this thing to on, after you hold it for a moment, I'll show you. All right, so it's staying lit, so we'll go to on, and we'll see what kind of flame we get. See how it's a really yellow, lazy flame that's going to start being sooty? That's not what you want. You want a blue, roaring flame, so there's something in here plugging this up. So we're going to turn it back off. You can see the soot coming out. It's not what you want. So we'll turn that back off, we'll let it cool down, and I'll get the tools out and we'll get ready to open this up so we can blast through it with some air. This is my tool bag I always carry with me. Always got a hammer. And all kinds of tools. So I came over here and I took the screw out and I pulled this little piece forward and look what fell out right off the bat. There you go. There's trash in here. So we're going to get the air blower and we're going to blow through this thing. So you can use an air blower like this or you can use just a shop vac. And... Might want to wear some safety glasses because stuff flew out of here. Blow all the trash out of here. All right. Now we'll get it hooked back up and we'll see if it works. All right. So my screw is a quarter inch, so I keep that socket in my kit. Because I do a lot of overlanding on my truck and I want to make sure that I got tools to work on my truck. And since I take my camper, I try to have tools that I can work on my camper with too. It's nice and snug back up. We'll now I did make sure that I turned the propane tank off and I made sure this was off too. So we're gonna go back to pilot. 
There we go, pilot lit. Let it warm up for a moment. That pilot has to heat up that thermal couple, which opens the valve in here to make sure the gas stays on when you let go of the button. All right, let's turn it on. Oh, look at there. That's what we wanted. See that flame? That little roaring sound? That's what you want. All right. We're good to go. Water heater's fixed. Turn it off. Everything's off. And there you have it. There's an easy fix for your water heater. You don't need to take it to the shop. It's real easy to do. And you could probably do that blowing it out with a shop vac or like a little air compressor or something. I just happen to be here at home and I have my big air compressor. So I used the blower and just blew the trash out of it. And we're back operational again. So easy fix. I hope this helps out somebody. And if you're new to my channel, I do a lot of stuff from RV camping to overlanding to fishing and all kinds of stuff. So if you like the content that I put out and the product reviews, like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it. It'll help me grow. Have a great day and keep out exploring. Keep going out and exploring. There we go.